What's going on guys? John here from Cooking with John. Thanks for tuning in. I'm John. And this is my cooking show. Today I've got a fantastic episode for you. I'm going to be doing homemade stuffed peppers with sausage, beef, and rice. This is actually a recipe I found here on YouTube uh, from the Barbecue Pit Boys. I'll go ahead and link their video in the description below. It's a little bit different. They do it on the grill. Those things look absolutely phenomenal. I modified the recipe just a little bit so it can be done in the oven. So without further ado, let's go ahead and stuff some peppers. Today's ingredients include six green bell peppers. We'll chop the tops and the bottoms off, and this is actually uh, will be what we stuff. Half an onion, breadcrumbs. We're going to use sausage, beef, feta cheese. We have a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of granulated garlic, two cans of tomato sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and one cup of brown rice that has been pre-made. Takes about 45 minutes to cook this. A little water, a little butter. Boil it, set it, let it sit for 45 minutes and it'll be done. So today we're gonna mix all these ingredients together and make some of the most delicious stuffed green bell peppers that you've ever had in your entire life. Step one, I've got a pound of hot sausage here. We're gonna go ahead and ground that up and a pound of ground beef. Now we're gonna to wanna to take our peppers and you can use a paring knife to do this, but you wanna chop the tops off. Go ahead and just scrape this thing out with your paring knife, just like that. Get all, everything on the inside out. Kind of scrape down the sides, just like so. Go ahead, rinse that out. And then the secret to these peppers is gonna to be to actually just cut a very tiny bit off the bottom. That way the heat is gonna go right through the pepper and heat up the inside. That'll speed up the whole cooking process on this bad boy. So we're gonna repeat that six times. Take our paring knife, go ahead, cut the top of the pepper off. Go ahead, scrape out the inside. Get all that good stuff out of there. Well, actually get all that not good stuff out of there. The seeds don't taste particularly good. Either does this inside, uh, I don't know if it's the rind of the pepper, or whatever this little, the inside part is. But take that, scrape it out, give it a little tap, have another empty pepper, and we just slice off the very, 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 very bottom. Just a little bit. We still want a little bit of layer of pepper on there. Uh, but we do want the heat to go through the bottom of the pepper, heat up the inside, and then uh, you'll have a stuffed pepper. Next, we're going to chop half of a white onion. And we're not going to chop it too fine. We're just going to kind of slice it and then dice it. doesn't need to be a you know, finely crazy chop, but we do just want you know, smaller pieces of onion. Our next step is going to be to combine all the ingredients. We have one pound of beef. One pound of sausage, one cup of cooked rice, half of a chopped onion. We're gonna do about five ounces of feta cheese, one to two tablespoons of salt, one to two tablespoons of pepper, one to two tablespoons of granulated garlic, about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. And we're gonna start by mixing all of this up. The key to stuffed peppers is getting the right moisture texture in the mix. Now we're gonna take our can of one can of tomato sauce, and we're just gonna go ahead, put that in there, and we're gonna mix it up. Get all that, all that flavor mixed up in there real good. And last but not least, we want about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce right in there, right there. And we'll mix that in one more time before we start stuffing the pepper. And we kinda wanna be able to ball this together. We want it to hold its shape when we squeeze it. So as you can see, you know, that, that's pretty good right there. If it's falling apart, it'll be too dry. If it's really clumping together and sticking to itself, then it won't be too soggy for the pepper. Now we're gonna take this mixture and we're gonna stuff it in our peppers. Now the first thing I'm gonna do before I start stuffing my peppers is take just a little bit of extra tomato sauce and put it in the bottom of each pepper and in the bottom of the pan. That'll kinda put just a little bit of moisture towards the bottom of the peppers and it'll help them cook just a little bit. All right. Next step, take a spoon and just start shoveling this in there. Just like that. Fill them up to the brim. Bam. Nothing to it. Right there. One. We have six amazingly stuffed green peppers. The next step is going to be take these, put them in the oven, at 350 to 375 degrees for about an hour to an hour and a half. That's the only downside to this recipe. If you don't blanch these peppers, 
It does take a long time for them to cook, uh, but this is just a fantastic, fantastic meal. You can take these, after they're done cooking, put them in the fridge and either serve them to your friends, eat them for lunch, but they are so, so good. And I wanna thank the Barbecue Pit Boys for uh, turning me on to this recipe. I modified it just a little bit so I could do it in the oven, but those guys are awesome. So make sure you check out their link to their stuffed peppers and uh, they do them on the grill, but that link is in the description below. Put these bad boys in the oven for about an hour and a half, 375 degrees. Alrighty, so it's been an hour and 30 minutes. Oh yeah, look at those stuffed peppers. <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead and just slice this thing open right down the middle. Open it up and just look at all that goodness in there. Oh, yes. Stuffed peppers for the win. I'm going to take a little bit of pepper, a little bit of stuffing. and try it all. Oh, that is so stinking good. Just the perfect, perfect combination of flavor. Oh, man. All right, guys, well, I'm John, Cooking with John. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. I'm gonna go ahead and serve this pepper up to Iris for dinner, but, oh, like I said, it's absolutely delicious. I hope you guys check out this recipe. <laughs> I'll try it. Ooh. I wanted to try some for you on camera. It scared, scared me. Mm. Yeah, now that I was about, as I was about to say, I'd like to thank the Barbecue Pit Boys for making their video and inspiring this recipe. So make sure you check them out. Comment below and let me know what you think about today's recipe. We'll see you next time for more cooking from me, John. And sometimes I'll be here too. Me from me, Nikki. <laughs> Just get it.